We are all connected to Scotland's beautiful landscape, seascape and wildlife. It's a relationship that makes us happier and healthier. But we're facing a crisis. Many of Scotland's habitats, plants and animals are in danger. There are causes we already know. Pollution, chemicals, the climate emergency. But there's another big threat that we don't think about. The way we manage our land is driving our most precious species to collapse. Can you imagine trying to get to work or school if the roads and paths you relied on suddenly vanished? To save Scotland's wildlife, we need to fix how we connect to nature and how nature connects around us. Nature networks are key to restoring, creating and protecting the habitats our native species need to survive. For example, bees, moths and butterflies are essential for pollinating flowering plants that feed us and other animals. But they struggle to get from one patch of flowers to the next because of man-made obstacles. They can't always fly across motorways, towns and farmland. We can do something about it. If we let wildflowers grow, we can create new roads for bees and butterflies and bring back colour and buzz to our towns and cities. Nature networks expand habitats and link them together so that wildlife can move from one area to another. Big or small, they reconnect our fragmented landscape. Farming and grazing take up 80% of Scotland's land. But fields and pastures don't always provide the connections that plants and animals need to survive. Birds like lapwings and corncrakes are in decline because they need a mosaic of habitats for cover, food and nesting. If we restore a patchwork of trees, grasslands and hedges to our farmland, it's more sustainable for birds, plants and people. Wild salmon face a difficult journey to reach the places they breed. They need to swim upriver from the sea to their spawning grounds. But man-made structures like dams and weirs are enormous obstacles. If we remove these structures once they're no longer needed, or build rock ramps and fish passes, salmon can navigate Scotland's rivers and their populations can flourish. Scotland has many rare habitats including our very own rainforest. This unique and precious rainforest is home to rare lichens and mosses. Some of them can't be found anywhere else on Earth. They will not survive unless we connect patches of trees together and give the woodland a chance to grow. Nature networks work for our wildlife for the planet, for all of us. Together, we can save Scotland's endangered landscape and wildlife by creating and restoring nature networks. But there's still a lot to be done. You can help. Find out how at scotlink.org. <laughs>